Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. In this video, I am going to talk to you about why it is so important to be able to forgive in order to achieve your your goals, your dreams, to attract the things that you really want in your life. Now, one way I want you to think of this is that when you um, when you hold on to something, it's like imagine you're holding on to something, right? Which means that you can't grab onto something else. And everything about us, we're we're, we're like energy. And so, if you hold like a grudge or you're still angry or you can't forgive someone it becomes like an energy blockage from you finding love like I tell people sometimes who say but I just can't forgive my parents for what they've done to me I can't forgive this person and then what happens is they also have a hard time maintaining a healthy relationship or meeting somebody that they really truly love so because that's, there's a blockage there so when you forgive you're not forgiving for that person you're just really forgiving for you um i mean you're forgiving because you want to attract more light energy, more inspiration, right? So that you can, you know, make those videos, so you can write that book, so you can finish school, so you can find your perfect soulmate. When you have blockages in your energy, it just really blocks you from being able to attract all of the things that you really love. Now, I know a lot of people talk about forgiveness, but it is one of the most difficult things to do because it's kind of like, well, how do I do that? How do I actually forgive? So first, I want to tell you some, a story. So my boyfriend and I, we have been reading the Bible every night. We read like a verse and some nights we read three. And it because I don't like people telling me what to do or dictating things to me. So I'm talking about reading from page one. And it's been very mind blowing. And I know people carry it around. So, oh, everybody said, oh, you need to get to the New Testament. You shouldn't read that because, oh my God, it blows my mind. But this is the point. So one night um, we were reading about, you know, when this particular guy and um, I don't know, was it Leviticus? And he was telling Moses what he would need in order to be able to forgive. And I'm and I think it was something like he wanted an unblemished, I don't know, was it a ram or a goat? And my, <laughs> but basically, the way I took it was like, he said, look, if you can get me an unblemished, you know, ram or goat, we, we cool. I'm over it. It's done. It's water under the bridge. I will forgive you. <clears throat> don't you worry. We good. So my boyfriend thought like, oh, my God, that's like how, you know, that's weird or you know it and I thought you know you know what was really good about that passage to me about the whole this is what he needs to forgive is I think that most humans don't know what it is they need to forgive like we don't like do you need a sheep of uh, the firstborn sheep do you need it to be unblemished um do you need a certain color do you need like two or three do you need a turtle dove what do you need so that you can know that you can actually forgive a person so that you would know in your heart that you have been able to let something go. And when I ask people like, what do you, what do you need to feel like you can forgive this person? Nobody had an answer. No, no one had an answer of what that forgiveness, like, well, what would people, because people say, well, they apologize, but it wasn't good enough. That's a, that's a th another thing about humans. Well, it, it wasn't sincere. I don't believe them. I don't think that they really meant it. Um, Listen, guys, before we can move on to the herbs and the oils and the spices and all the other good stuff, I really feel like if there's anything that you're holding on to, let it go. Because I promise you, if there's breath in your body, you have hurt someone and you need forgiven. So when you forgive, you also ask to be forgiven. Even if they don't know that they've forgiven you, they'll forgive you at some level. Now, let me tell you the thing about forgiveness and why it's so important and why it's going to, when we, when I show you, you know, how to work on your wisdom area or just some oil, some things you want to work on your wisdom because you cannot forgive a person or, 
or solve a problem at the same intellectual, emotional, spiritual, psychological, or cognitive level of which that problem occurred. Now, let me, what I'm saying to you, have you ever made a mistake before? And when you look back, you think, I can't believe I made that mistake. I, I cannot, oh my God, can I, I can't believe that happened. Well, the reason you can't believe it is because you're so much smarter now, right? You are so much better now. So you can, of course you can't, you know, make that mistake again because you are not intellectually in that same spot that you were in when you originally had made that mistake. So in order to forgive and energetically let go of the past, you really have to work on wisdom because wisdom is going to give you insight and insight is going to give you the emotional, psychological, and cognitive ability to let things go. Now I want to share a story with you. Um, you know, for a long time, I don't want to say I didn't forgive my dad, but I can truly say I didn't understand my father. So growing up, I am the oldest. I have two brothers. And I felt like my father was always concerned about my brothers having a car and not me. And I'm like, I'm a girl and I'm catching the bus in Detroit. I grew up, I'm born and raised in Detroit. And I'm just thinking like, oh my God, I can't believe that, you know, he's concerned about them, but he's not concerned about me and I'm a girl. And my father was born in 1913, uh, two years I think I think Harriet Tubman died in 1913 or 19 I can't remember I used to always remember that but basically when my father was born Harriet Tubman was still alive and I think she died when my father was two so anyway the thing is my dad's father um, Kate and his brother came over on the slave ship so it's not that far away as people like to believe but the thing is my father had witnessed a lot of um, unspeakable things happening to you know African American men and he was always worried that something was going to happen to my brothers and you know and I have just I'm always working in my wisdom area but I'm telling you that it's it's not a it's not something that's going to be finite. You're not going to work on it and say, oh my God, I'm just a genius. Life is great. I don't have anything else to work on. As you grow and you solve problems, you're going to solve other problems. Other things are going to come to light and you're going to say, oh, okay, that makes sense to me. Okay. So anyway, with, the, with everything that's happening around in the media, I realize now why my father was worried about my brother's safety more so than mine not that you know it's been great for us but I get it I can forgive him I see it I'm, I'm just like oh so that's why when I went away to college and I was catching the bus you know working two jobs and going to school my brother had my car because I get it now it all makes sense to me but wisdom without wisdom you understand you cannot forgive so you're gonna have to grow in terms of um, we're gonna work on opening your crown chakra we're gonna work on I got an oil I'm gonna show you to use and I'm gonna show you which area in your house to work on do this first because without wisdom you're gonna you're probably going to attract the wrong person you know what I'm saying you're gonna um, people are looking for love but mm, look for wisdom first so that you'll know maybe you don't even know what the right person look like you know or people are looking for money but sometimes we throw our talents and our gifts away we don't even know what it is so always I, I'm just gonna say this work on wisdom first wisdom will put you on the right pathway Right? It'll give you insight on what is the best thing to do. So now I'm going to go over a couple things that you can do to work on your wisdom. And once you work on your wisdom and you have a higher level of insight, then I want you to go back and forgive. Does that make sense? Okay. So one of the things I really want to make clear is that in order to forgive, you must have wisdom because wisdom gives you insight and insight and being able to look at a situation from a different perspective from a higher level will give you the ability to forgive. You cannot, 
maybe some people can okay but true forgiveness requires wisdom so this is why we're going to work on this area and then we're going to move into some other things now to work on your wisdom what i want you to do is walk in your front door and i want you to look to the extreme left corner like if you were to put your room into like a perfect square tell me well you don't have to tell me but look in that area the element for that area is earth so that could be anything that's stone the colors are brown you know like earth tone colors and like if you have like uh, rocks there or gemstones it's also the area that um, where you can put pictures of like wise people that you think are wise like it can't be somebody that I think is wise um, whether it's um, Gandhi who, who look guys I don't know but whoever you think is wise it could be a person that's living or a person that's dead but your idea of ideal of wisdom if you have water in that area I'm sorry if you have like a bathroom or a toilet in that area what you want to do is go to I don't know purchase a I don't know a, a stone that you must that is heavy enough to be carried with two hands you have it has to be hairy I'm sorry it has to be heavy enough to be carried with two hands and you want to place it right next to that toilet to suppress that energy this is the area that's responsible for learning new information, for knowledge, for wisdom, for meditation. You also want to, if you can, you can place a picture of a really big mountain there because the mountain, the earth represents peace. But this area is everything. And I know that I'm, whew, I know people want to get to like the money and get to the love and the career and how to, da, 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 da. no. You work on your wisdom area first. So again, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna go really slow. Walk into your home. If it's your bedroom, look into, walk in your bedroom, what's in the extreme left corner? Is there a big window? Is everything going out the window? Is there a toilet? Is everything going down the toilet? You need colors of navy blue, green, any type of big, huge gemstone. Um, any images of people that you perceive as being wise okay you want to put that in your knowledge wisdom area that is the most important area clean it up if it's a garbage can over there move it I, I, I am so serious right now now so you're gonna work on that area and then and you can do that for free <laughs> um, this oil is only I was, it's less than $8, I guess, depending on where you buy it from, but it's not that expensive. It's called King Solomon's Oil, and I think I'm going to put a picture here for you as well. Yeah, King Solomon Oil. And you want to put it right here on the top of your head, your crown chakra. You want to put it around your temples here. You want to put it in your third eye and, be, and the back of your neck as well. And um, I'm not, when you meditate, if you meditate, I don't, if you don't have to do with the alms, but just sit still, just wear it and it smells, this smells so good. I, I'm not kidding. Oh my God, oh my God, it smells so good. This is a good oil. There is also a wisdom candle by Crystal Journey and I have a picture of it shown coming up. I've used this in the past. I haven't bought any um, recently, but usually when I'm about to raid or I am going through something or I'm trying to figure something out, I go buy a ton of wisdom candles. And I don't, listen, I don't know if they're placebos, I'm not gonna sit here, but I know that this is how you know that it's working for you. When you look back on previous problems that you had in the past and you're looking at it with uh, more insight, uh, being a higher or a bigger person, that could be a sign that it works. And I think the very fact that you want to be better and do better, that alone, the universe will step in to assist you. 
Another thing you can use, so we have our oil, we have our candle, you're going to work on your wisdom area, is frankincense and myrrh incense or um, um, I have some of those little resin that I burn in my uh, cauldron. We'll talk about that in the next video. But I will tell you this. It is going to be the stuff that I'm going to show you later is going to be, oh, we're going to go over the Oh, here's some stuff for love. Here's some stuff for a candle. Here's some other things you can use. But I'm telling you guys, please work on your wisdom area. It is so important for your journey to your dreams. It is everything. It helps you pick, select the right pathway. And I promise you that you, you'll have more insight into yourself, to your nature. You may think you want to be a teacher, but once you work on your wisdom area and once you wear the oils and burn the candles and get quiet, you might think, oh my God, I don't, that wasn't even my dream. That was my mother's dream or I'm not even, I don't even want to do that. And that's the thing about wisdom. It's scary because you may be in a relationship that you thought was the one, but when you get wisdom, when you allow wisdom, your wisdom connection with your higher self to seep in, you're going to see things differently. And there is also, and also work on your crown chakra, which is here. This connects you to your higher self. Um, the more you work on your crown chakra, which connects you to your higher self, and there's like meditations you can do. You can Google that. Um, burn your wisdom candle. You know, wear your wisdom oil. Clean up the wisdom and knowledge area in your home. You walk it in your door. You look into your extreme left, right? Navy blue green okay those are the colors the element is earth if you can put like a big um, table made of stone that would be awesome the shape is square um, just make sure you know whatever you believe whoever you believe to be uh, embody the energy of wisdom you want to put pictures and images and statues whatever whatever you believe in you want to put it over there as you work on your wisdom area you're and you're going to see some really nice changes to come about and then as i go over um, maybe you have a book you're struggling with but the wisdom is going to tell you show you how to tap into that book um, how to work on it and one last little story <laughs> so when i'm stuck when i'm writing i always work on my wisdom area and what happens is that the ending that I thought I was going to write becomes like, oh no, that wasn't a great idea. Or that's not, that's not the best way for me to um, carry through with this information. This is not, this is not what that character would do or, do or say. You just, and you, you find yourself forgiving people. You find yourself letting go of the past. You find yourself being open to new ideas and better ways of doing things. Because in my opinion, this is my opinion, wisdom is the pathway to forgiveness. It is not just the pathway to knowledge. It is the pathway to forgiveness. You cannot forgive someone. You cannot forgive yourself until you are able to see whatever the problem is from a higher consciousness. You must raise your vibration and raise your consciousness in order to move forward. May your life be saturated in love, peace, and grace, and may all your dreams come true. Until next time.